So real quick, I just wanted to announce that at 325,000 subs, I'll be doing the second Mega Campaign. Or I'm actually calling it the proper Mega Campaign. We're going to be using five games instead of four. This is how you're supposed to do it. We're going to be using CK2, lots of epicness, and uh, from my work on it so far, I can definitely say this is going to be an interesting one. So I want to try to build an entire city around one house. Maybe four or five citizens. I'm going to build a whole bunch of things for them to do. I just don't know if anyone's really gonna be using this shit. It's not even gonna be a fancy home either. They get one block, that's it. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna probably educate these people a little bit. They'll build up slightly, but not that much. And I'm going all out for these people too. They're getting the best of the best services. We've got a solar power plant, a recycling center, police headquarters, firehouse, hospital, things like that. It's just gonna be kind of like an episode of the Twilight Zone where no one's around. So this little shack has been built. It is looking horrible. But people haven't moved in just yet. That usually takes a couple hours. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see who moves in though. Will it be a family? That'd be good. Or will it just be like one person? Like a, a weird ass YouTuber? I have no idea who the hell is driving this garbage truck right now. We must be importing cheap labor or they're aliens. I don't know. Probably the latter. There's not really a point to uh, putting the cemetery down. I, I guess for convenience sake, it's across the street from the hospital just in case they make some mistakes. But I just don't want to build a city as if there's supposed to be like a million people that come. It's just not gonna happen. Oh my god, there they are, Travis Scram. It, it looks like they're both gonna be young, like a newly married couple. They don't have any kids. This is it, this is all they, they got. Hold on. So the wife's name's Lisa Graham. She's a university student. Again, I'm really hoping she starts pumping out the kids because we're gonna need at least like three more people running around. And then Travis is gonna be working at the recycling center. Fantastic. Okay, well that's more respectable. At least you're not a garbage man. I'm trying my damn best right now to figure out if we can get some sort of commercial grocery store to pop up, something like that. It might, it's just, it's gonna close like immediately. I promise, uh, these people are not real. I, I don't know what's going on with my basketball court, but they have never had a visitor, ever, since I built this thing. So, these people are just more than likely interdimensional demons. Oh my god, something did pop up. It's a miracle, what is this thing? A quiet corner store. Yeah, it is going to be incredibly quiet let me tell you yeah six jobs available i hate to break it to you that's not gonna be filled anytime soon unless we put like the newborn child which i'm assuming should be popping out pretty soon well the house has been renovated oh it's looking much much better now i was gonna say you have to you have to at least have a good looking house if you're gonna be the only person in the city you know what i think it's time to expand and it's actually for one reason that you're gonna find out right now so now we have a little bit more room more access to the highway bam and there you go we're about to have the most useless airports of all time. But I, I, I'm telling you, we're going to get some tourists. We're going to get like five. Might as well get a train station going too. I, I, I want to try to build everything. Especially to see if we can maybe become like a tourist spot. Oh my god, did one of them die? I think one of them had to have died. It's just... <laughs> it's a widow now. They had a kid and then one... Oh my god, this is so sad. There's only one adult... One child, maybe it was the wife. I think Lisa might have uh, might have passed during birth. I don't know if this abandoned building had anything to do with it. I was totally not paying attention. I was building my airports. Can we find her in the in the cemetery? Oh, no one's dead here. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? I think we might have. I think we might have just witnessed a divorce. Maybe the pressures of living in this horrible city with no one else just really got to him or her. They're, they felt lonely, and uh, you got to do what you got to do. Oh, there's the person. Who is that? Is that? Oh, it's Lisa. Oh my god, the dad left. The dad... <laughs> he cheated on her. She probably just leaving her kid by himself too. You know, we can actually find his ass, her ass, whatever it is, in elementary school. Maybe we should stalk him. That actually sounds really creepy. I'm gonna take that back immediately. Either way, uh, the house got upgraded again. For some reason, it still shows two educated people, even though the dad left. I don't know what happened. Hey, who's that? Audrey Holmes. Oh, we have our first tourist. Okay, so maybe either the train station or the useless airports are being used. Maybe this is who Travis Graham cheated on with. He could be living a secondary life. We don't even know. Yeah, I might have just died if we found him in prison. I was, <laughs> I got really hopeful for a second there. No, no one's here. Damn it. There's Annabelle. Okay, so they have a teenage daughter. She just got to high school or actually she's going to the institution of creative whatever that building I, I put okay so she's probably mad that her father's a deadbeat dad might as well just make a useless bus line because uh, again I'm actually expecting some people to come and, and we are seeing a few visitors so uh, someone visited the basketball court last week so uh good uh, I'm, I'm glad we're getting somewhere question is does Lisa remarry 
I really hope she does, to be honest, because one teenage daughter is not going to be enough. It'd be nice, I, again, if we get, like, you know, full-on family here. This bus station might have been just a terrible idea. Constantly, at all hours of the day. <laughs> They just gotta deal with this shit. We just have the first airplane so far land in our, our little Oakwood city. Six visitors too, like didn't, oh whoops. Did not expect that. I'll take six visitors. No international uh, people just yet. Okay, tornado is coming. Luckily, I don't have a lot of this stuff developed. So even if it, it does hit, it's not a very big tornado. Also, these are unique buildings. I'm not sure if that's gonna make it any worse. That can't be good. Yep, no, that can- Oh, they're escaping! Holy shit! He got the hell- <laughs> Wow, that was impressive. That was just like a movie right there. Okay, we got really lucky. That could have ended so much worse. We might have had like a lawsuit on our hands. Cedric Young is a medium wealth senior, and he's a tourist. He came from the airport, and all he wanted to do was visit this small playground. This man might have Alzheimer's. Uh, can we find his family? Surprisingly, out of all the things I built, including the mall, the theme park, the stadium, uh, the basketball court is tied for first with six visitors last week. I guess it's just a good basketball court. And I think those interdimensional demons make it a little bit better. Oh, damn it. Okay, we've got a flood. A s oh, it's not even a flood, it's a tsunami. Oh, okay. You know, I don't really mind. Whoa! Oh, that was actually pretty bad. Yeah, uh, what's going on with the house? I think our house is going to be saved because the high school is going to take the, the brunt of the damage. I, I really hope- you've already been through so much with your shitty father. I hope that- <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, if these people die, I, I don't even know- okay. Yeah, if they're home, they're, they're probably dead. We might want to restrict travel for some time. Maybe. Uh, then again, I mean, I'm not making much money as it is. We should- we should just get as many people in here as possible. Even though the flood's still going on, and it's practically devastating our airports, uh, we're good. Annabelle and Lisa seem to be fine. Maybe they were at work or school during that time, so at least we didn't lose them. Now, when Annabelle becomes an adult, I'm starting to worry that she's gonna move out. That would really suck. I don't want to be stuck with just Lisa. Hey, there's an ice cream shop now. Uh, that- that is kind of an issue. Maybe she'll stay here and start her own family. Lisa, can you die? I do gotta say, we were seeing a lot of tourism. Like, I never expected to see any sort of traffic like this. A lot of them are, you know, like dump trucks and, and buses and things like that. But we've had at least 40 passengers on our airport. And there's lots of people just walking the street. I mean, I don't know how many of these are prostitutes. But either way, I mean, things are looking real good. I have a lot of, uh, buildings here that I guess people want to come visit. Oh yeah, and there's also the stadium. This stadium that I built for no reason. Okay, I don't even think we have a team. Uh, unless we want to recruit one of the, the women in the house. Oh my god. She's a senior. It, it's only a matter of time. Okay. Annabelle better finish her schooling. This could be pretty devastating for her. Oh, she's unemployed too. I don't know. Oh, she didn't get fired though. Now she's probably living off that social security money. Which, uh, maybe my city's paying her. I'm like kind of in debt. Damn it, why did we put this stupid city next to a lake? That's the problem. It, the universe is trying to get everyone to leave, which I kind of understand. Oh my god. It's gone. It's gone. They're dead. Did they die? I th Oh yeah, I think they did die. They might have died. I'm not sure. Damn, and this is a bad one too. Like this was not very good at all. And I didn't have any like warnings out. It's not like that would have change anything that I yeah that's stupid oh my god they're gone it, they, it's just got a whole new name now the Grove residents who the hell are these people I, I've never felt so attached to <laughs> some random sims in city skylines and you gotta admit I mean they had a pretty terrible life you had freaking Travis walk out on them as uh Annabelle was still a child the the wife was forced to work a single mom work at the hospital raise this angsty teenager and at the very end of their life they uh they were taken out by a tsunami it doesn't get any worse than that. I mean, I guess it could have been worse. It could have been a meteor that, you know, disintegrates their whole body. You know, at least they're probably out there dead in the ocean right now. More of the story, I mean, I guess, uh, Travis was probably right. If you if you guys find yourself in a situation, you get some lady pregnant, just get out of there because uh, the tsunami is not going to be worth it. But you know what? At least we found a purpose for the stadium. And now it's actually doing something. It was it was literally just here for no reason before. Craziest thing is I really never expected traffic to be even remotely an issue. And I guess it still isn't technically, but I mean, this was way more cars on the road than I expected. But who knows, maybe the Graham family's out here haunting this uh, forever abandoned building that's constantly, you know, 
kind of closing down. That that would make a lot of sense, actually. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, that was an interesting experiment. Uh, that is for sure. Maybe I could come back and do it with like a taller building. Maybe with more people, you know, same, like just one square, but it's like supposed to be high density. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And big thanks to Elfie C, Elijah Senpai, Rusification, Jen's Love Disc, Jen's Love Disc, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, Yeet God McNeckass, King Solomon, Daddy Sea Beans, Ben Moak, Abraxas, Delta Aurora, Princess Emma, Tanner of the Nazareth, Raging Fruit, David Diaz, Papa Stalin of the Paintbrushes, Free Cruise, and Hatman.